Love's Perjuries, W. Shakespeare. The speaker has unexpectedly become enthralled with someone he saw in passing. The desperation of a secret desire makes him sick to death. His thoughts are rather all-consuming, even to envying the breeze that touches the cheek of the object of affection. The marriage vow, the thorn referred to, is powerful and not to be gone against, perjured. The author knows better than an impulsive youth to persuade immediate wants for what is best, but doesn't want to be chastised for his desire. This person is lovesick, Mom, some may say lustsick, but is wise enough to see the big picture and love's perjuries will be in mind only. On a day, alack the day, love whose month is ever May, spied a blossom passing fair, playing in the wanton air. Through the velvet leaves the wind, all unseen gain passage find. That the lover, sick to death, wished himself the heaven's breath, Ere quoth he, thy cheeks may blow, ere would I might triumph so. But alack, my hand is sworn, ne'er to pluck thee from thy thorn. Thou alack for youth unmeet, youth so apt to pluck a sweet. Do not call it sin in me, that I am forsworn for thee. Thou for whom Jove would swear, Juno but an Ethiop were and deny himself for Jove, turning mortal for thy love.